in the annals of history, there are moments that forever alter the course of human destiny. In the year 1896, amidst the remote wilderness of Canada's Yukon Territory, three men stumbled upon a discovery that would set the world ablaze with feverish excitement, the Klondike Gold Rush. Skookum Jim Mason, George Carmack, and Dawson Charlie would become the unwitting pioneers of a frenzied quest for wealth that would forever transform the untamed landscapes of the North. It was a brisk August day when the trio of fortune seekers, led by Skookum Jim Mason, set out to fish in Rabbit Creek, a tributary of the Klondike River. Little did they know, destiny had other plans. As they sifted through the riverbed's gravel, George Carmack's keen eye caught a glimmer of something extraordinary, a shimmering nugget of gold, defiantly announcing its presence to the world. News of the gold strike spread like wildfire. The allure of untold riches echoed far beyond the rugged landscapes of the Yukon. Soon, adventurers from every corner of the globe descended upon the region, their dreams of prosperity propelling them into the heart of a treacherous journey through uncharted territories. The Klondike Gold Rush was no gentle pursuit. As the masses flocked to the riversides, a mad scramble ensued to stake claims on the fertile grounds. With each prospector vying to secure their piece of the gold-laden earth, tensions ran high, and disputes over claims were commonplace. The once pristine landscape transformed into a chaotic labyrinth of dreams and ambitions. Among the trials that awaited the fortune seekers was the infamous Chilkoot Trail. A grueling pass that spanned over 33 miles and required traversing steep terrain and treacherous weather, the trail served as a brutal gateway to the gold fields. Miners lugged their supplies, including ton-heavy loads of gear and provisions, enduring hardships that tested their endurance to the limits. In the wake of the gold rush, a series of boomtowns emerged with astonishing speed. Settlements like Dawson City sprouted from the wilderness, offering miners a place to rest, trade, and seek refuge from the unforgiving elements. These towns became beacons of civilization, hubs where hope and aspirations intermingled with the gritty realities of mining life. The economic frenzy triggered by the gold rush extended far beyond the mines themselves. Merchants, traders, and entrepreneurs rushed to capitalize on the insatiable demand for goods and services. Saloons, hotels, and stores lined the streets of burgeoning towns, their proprietors reaping the rewards of the swelling population. While stories of newfound wealth and success spread like wildfire, the gold rush exacted a heavy human toll. The harsh environment, coupled with the backbreaking labor, took its toll on the miners' health. Diseases, malnutrition, and accidents claimed the lives of many, turning the pursuit of fortune into a poignant reminder of the fragility of life. As swiftly as it had begun, the Klondike gold rush began to wane. The easily accessible gold deposits were depleted, and the frenzy that had gripped the land slowly subsided. The once thriving towns were left as remnants of a bygone era, their wooden structures weathering the passage of time as silent witnesses to the dreams and ambitions that had defined an epoch. The Klondike gold rush, though over in a flash, left an indelible mark on the tapestry of history. It reshaped landscapes, ignited ambitions, and forged enduring tales of perseverance and determination. Today, as we gaze upon the tranquil beauty of the Klondike River, we are reminded of the astonishing events that unfolded on its shores, events that forever remind us of the profound allure of the untamed and the pursuit of the extraordinary. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of the Great Vancouver Fire. Thanks for watching.